This segment is sponsored by Andreucci Wine Room. My family is involved in the wine business is more than 300 years in Italy, in Tuscany. And my first trip here was 2013, something like that. And we started to develop our idea, we started to develop our concept, and the concept is where we are today. This is the phase one. The phase one was to open the tasting room in Fredericksburg, bringing our wines from Italy, bringing our experience, bringing our know-how from, from Tuscany here. We have wine from Trentino Alto Adige, it's very north of Italy, until Sicily in the south. Uh, of Italy, in order that uh, really you, when you come here, you can really enjoy an experience on the full deep immersion on the, wi uh, the wine from Italian production. This is just the copy of one original data that my family owns, is the receipt of Piamente that one of my ancestors sold the wine to Napoleone Bonaparte on the 1810. So we decided to copy in each one of our label this particular piece of this original document just to let people know knows how long is our family uh, tradition of making wines. And we have a very deep rootstock on the wine business. It's something that is, once again, is a part of what we want to promote. We want to promote our, our family, our tradition. We are not here to pushing you or buy this border versus another. We want people let understand what means the famous Italian lifestyle. So this is a vintage 2011. We produce only 2,520 bottles. Each bottle is a numbered bottle by number. This is at least a 2,470. So in order that any bottle is a, a exclusive, is a really a gift that you can have for my winery. That's the point. But the reason why it's so unique. Yeah, I want to suggest to the people, if you don't have the chance until now to come here to Andreucci's uh, wine room, please do that. Please come here. Met some of us, met me or some of the, my staff here, enjoy a glass of wine, try to understand what means the Italian lifestyle. You can really pass a, a great hour here with us, drinking great wines from Italy. Salute. It's a taste of Italy right here in Texas. Andreucci Wine Room is a great spot to stop for a glass of wine in Fredericksburg. Yes, and it's a very difficult job, but somebody has to do it. So we are here this morning taste testing some wines with the one and only Flavio Andreucci. Great to Hi. see you. Hello. <laughs> this, this is really one of our favorite things in the world, and it's a great way to start the day, right? When did you start making wine? Oh, I started personally 25 years ago. Uh, but consider that I grew up in the winery in terms my family is involved in wine business is more than 300 years. Wow. We cover more than 12 generations. We are principally, our main winery is in Tuscany, in the center of Italy. And then we had, I had that different wineries in north of Italy. So in this, today we are able to cover mostly of the wines from Italy and we produce by ourselves. Wow. It's safe to say you guys know what you're doing yes, and certainly. are professionals <laughs> at making some delicious wine. We are professionals at tasting delicious wine and you have brought a few for us to taste today, yeah. yes? Can yeah, you explain yeah, what you yeah, brought? Yeah. I brought for you guys some of my wines, probably are some of the more representative wine that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, I brought for you the Prosecco, mm -hmm. I take it for you the Chardonnay. Chardonnay, Chardonnay could be interesting, especially for American people. Yeah. And then I bring for you one of the most famous wines in the world is the uh, Brunello di Montalcino. Theoretically, we have to start to, to test this wine. We have to start for the lighter and goes for the stronger. So what you're saying is we have to start with the Prosecco. Okay. Yeah. That, which that is, sounds, <laughs> which yeah. is how I start yeah. every day. You'll so. find no argument here. <laughs> it's, it's a bad work, but someone have to do. That's right, exactly. <laughs> I'll do it. Well, I'm, that's, I'm that's embarrassed to, to tell you this, but I'm actually going to tell you, I have earned the nickname Proseccosaurus. Oh, really? That's someone who really loves Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's great. Let's just taste it. Let's taste it. Yeah, let's okay. taste it. Okay, so uh, this is the Prosecco. I can say, my guys, first of all, I want that you know that is all my fault in terms that I, I'm the guy that physically sit on the table and I blend uh, all the wines and I'm the guy that decides which type of result you want after oh. one year, two year, three year, five year, six year, according with the Brunello. Oh, wow. Let's start with the 
Prosecco and say, my, because according with my uh, small ego, like you can feel, <laughs> I produce in the bottle only and exactly what I like. Yeah. This is a blend of three different varieties of wines, 33% Glera, 33% Chardonnay, 33% Pinot Noir in white vinification. Oh, wow. So the final result is a glass of wine with a perfect acidity, with a great bubbling. You can see here the, the sparkling, how they are very teeny and they go very fast from the bottom to the top of the glasses. Nice. This is the first sure. sign that you're drinking some with the quality. Oh, Smoother good. Smoother test, a uh, little touch of pineapple has a finish and enjoy a glass of Prosecco. Enjoy. Mm. Wow. Oh, that's Flavio, that is delicious. That's uh, really an unusual idea of the Prosecco, and uh, it's, once again, is our vision of the Prosecco. Oh, it's beautiful. Yum. Tiny Let's bubbles. taste one more, shall we? Which, yeah. Shall we do this one? Yeah, we can go, yeah. To, the, we can go to the Brunello di Montalcino, okay. probably. Brunello is one of the most famous wines in the world. Wow. Montalcino is the medieval town, beautiful medieval town in the central Tuscany. And the rules for the production of Brunello say that to be as a producer, to be allowed to label as a Brunello di Montalcino, as we need to own the vineyard, the cellar, the packaging the line, all, all the packaging must be made inside the comune of wow. Montalcino. The comune is a geographic border. Okay. Much more smaller than your county. Just oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> the rule says also that the wine must be made using 100% a variety of Sangiovese. Sangiovese is the main variety in Tuscany. And the rule says also that the wine must be aged minimum five years. Four in the big old oak barrels and one in the bottles. Oh, wow. Thank you. This is beautiful. This is stunning. Even down to the glass. While we taste this, will you tell us where we can find you and people can come visit you? Yeah, you can come here in Fredericksburg. It's the only place where you can find my wines here in the United States. And you can find in Fredericksburg on Main Street. We are located like with Andreucci uh, Wine Room. Oh, Cheers man. to that. that. Delicious. <laughs> Cheers. What Thank you. Moment. Salute, Thank like you. we say oh, in Italy. Yes, Salute. 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 Excellent. Thank you so much. And still to come, we're learning a little bit 